What is up guys? Flame here. Today what I'm going to be going over for y'all today is how to be a good player in GTA 5 Online. This is going to be how to be a clean good player. On my other videos where I did tutorials on how to be good, I was telling everybody basically be a try hard. Be that one person that everyone hates that does the stupidest shit to get kills and is so desperate and is, sums it up the word try hard. That's what I was having everyone do and that's not what I want people to do. I don't want people to be a try hard I want people to you know play clean cuz I hate try hards too I really do they annoy me so much I mean try hard has been it's been taken to a whole nother extent all because of the first start of try harding so now at this point I just want everyone to stop being try hards and just be chill so this is how to be a clean good player hope you enjoy so, first thing I'm going to recommend to you is a heavy helmet. Now, it used to be a try-hard type of helmet. I understand that. It's not a try-hard helmet anymore. Here's the reason why. There are ways to get around it. If you're versing a normal person, you know, like usual, then yes, it'll help protect your head. You know, you want to be able to be a little bit protected. Our military does it. Are they try-hards? I mean, for our military does it. I mean, they have heavy helmets. It just protects you. It's not overpowered. If someone hits you, you know, a couple times in the head, three times with a regular type bullet, you know, or something, if they're good at aiming, they can kill you. It's not try hard. It's just helping. And with the new armor piercing bullets, it doesn't even matter because the armor piercing bullets with one shot goes right through it as if the helmet's not even there. So it's not even a try hard anymore. So I don't want any comments saying, oh, heavy helmet, you're a try hard. No, that's clean right there. That's clean. You could say it's try hard playing. It's clean playing right there. There's new ways, you know, with the new armor piercing bullets, one shot to the head, anything, you know, so. And it just gives you a little bit extra health if they don't have armor piercing. It just, you know, it gives you a little more protection. And it's not try hard. It's not something that's too OP. It's just a little bit, you know what I mean? Take a couple more shots to the head because you have the helmet protecting you. But not overpowered. The second thing I'm going to be going over, stack up on armor. Whatever level you are. If you're a lower level, get the highest level of armor you have. Um, that's all I can recommend to you because armor is very important important and it's again that's not try hard i mean it gives you extra health and if someone's not using armor and they're like oh you're using armor that's cheap well that's their fault they're missing out they're not using armor you want to make sure you have 10 armors because then you'll be maxed out on armor and it's really going to help and regardless of what anyone else thinks about the situation, it does help. It really does. So make sure you're stacked up on armor because that also gives you more health. Um, and not that much. Armor is very weak in this game. It's not like real life bulletproof vest. You know, in real life, they could take hits. You know what I mean? Nothing's getting through unless they have armor piercing rounds or whatnot or 50 cal. But here's what I'm saying. It'll at least help in the game. Literally, I believe four shots or three shots from a carbine rifle take the you know from a regular not even a mark two four or five maybe three shots I, I don't know the exact number but I know really small amount of shots from a regular assault rifle in the game you know it'll take the armor all the way down now you're on their health you know the funny part is you have more health on your character than armor even with the highest armor in the game high grade military armor supposedly but you have more health your health lasts longer from gunshots than armor does. So that just says that right there. But it still helps and it could potentially give you a better standing in whatever fight you're doing. The next thing I'm going to be going over, weapons. You need to have a mobile command center for this, I understand. Um, or And you might need to also have a bunker for mobile command center. I think you need a bunker first. So you buy a bunker, then a mobile command center. Now, I know that's a lot of money, so if you can't afford it, uh, work your way up and get it. But if you do already have one, which a lot of people do, this is what I'm going to recommend to you. And like I said, just if you don't, try working on it. Make all your weapons a Mark II. I would make all but the pistol. The pistol, I have it already, as you guys see. Um, I don't really like it, and I don't really see a point in making it the Mark II. It's an expensive thing. You know, you're paying to make it this Mark II. And personally, I think the regular pistol looks better. 
Um, that could just be my opinion, but I really think it does. But all the other five guns I'm going to be going over. And I'm just going to be going over ammo types and explaining why. So let's get into it. Um, so for the uh, SMG Mark II. Put on hollow point rounds. It's the fastest killing rounds that the SMG has. And only certain guns like the pistol and the SMG have hollow points for a reason. Because it's a very, you know, it shoots, it kills them. It has increased damage. So, what I'm saying is if it gave that much more damage to the most powerful guns in the game, how's that balance? So, hollow point rounds for the SMG it kills almost as fast as the assault rifles. Um, I don't know if its accuracy is as good, so that might be. But at close range, if you're right up on them and all the bullets are hitting them, it definitely kills almost as fast. Now, I'm not going to be getting into scopes or anything, because as long as you put a scope on, every scope's the same. As long as you put a muzzle on... Obviously, the suppressor, you don't want that. But anything but the suppressor, any muzzle, give you the same amount of damage. So just pick the style you like. Barrel, obviously, do all that. But I'm just doing bullet types. Now I explain why I'm not doing them, too. Assault rifle. This is one of the lower grade assault rifles in the game. You have the other ones, which aren't as good as the Mark II. But... The assault rifle is already, I mean, minus the compact rifle, the assault rifle is the worst one in the game out of all of them. So, if, even though they upgraded the most, uh, or the worst assault rifle in the game, they still have the carbine rifle, which they also upgraded. So, even if the lowest assault rifle got one, so did the one of the top ones. So, obviously, you upgrade a... You know, one of the best Lamborghinis, and then you upgrade one of the lowest end Lamborghinis. Of course, the highest end one's gonna win. Um, anyways, though, this is what's gonna come up to my conclusion. Put full metal jacket rounds on the assault rifle. Full metal jacket rounds. It'll go through any window of any car. It'll go through any window of an aircraft easier. Full metal, or yeah, full metal jacket rounds busts out Karuma windows. It busts out armored vehicle windows. It's a really good magazine and the assault rifle like i said since it's not as accurate as the other carbine rifles i don't even think actually i don't even think this being upgraded is as good as the bullpup or any of them or bull yeah bullpup i don't know the special carbine in the bullpup rifle i think it's called they're not even as good as that like this assault rifle is not that good so even upgraded it did help a lot but i honestly think the bullpup rifle and the special carbine and advanced rifle are still better than this but anyways that's why you put full metal jacket you don't plan on killing people with it but it'll go right through a window of a vehicle with these rounds. So if someone's coming at you in a Karuma, pull this bad boy out. Fuck it. You got full metal jacket rounds on there. Light them up. You know, it's you're not going to use it for killing. Just make this be your vehicle gun. This gun right here is strictly you're using it just to get through windows of vehicles. Simple enough, right? Now... Carbine rifle. This is already one of the top rifles in the game. They upgrade it. Make it even better. Now I believe it kills just as fast as all the other rifles. If not faster. See, back the advanced rifle used to kill the fastest. But now the carbine rifle does. Because the carbine rifle has been upgraded. And you have all these attachments at your disposal. You got, you know, the other guns just have grips and stuff. This one, you got muzzles and barrels you could put on the son of a bitch. You know, you could put a heavy barrel on it just to make it have better range and stuff. You know, so if you see what I'm saying there. So anyways, exactly where I'm getting to. For the magazines, don't put full metal jacket. For one reason, you already have the other one to go through vehicles. 
I don't know how many vehicles, you know what I mean? You don't need the take on vehicles. You have that one. It, that thing's perfect for vehicles. It might not be perfect for people, but it's 100% perfect for vehicles. Knock off the default clip, because who needs a clip that's lower and does nothing? Uh, tracer rounds, I think those are dumb. They're the color of your gun or something. Yeah, those do no more damage than anything. No benefits, except maybe looks or something. I don't even know. Never use them. Sound dumb to me. Incinidary rounds works half the time doesn't always work so you can't depend on it sometimes by the time you shoot someone though the fire does nothing by the time you kill them if it does set fire to them which it only does half the time if it does they're already dead it does nothing the fire round they might look cool make someone ghost rider if it does work that's it uh, that's where I come to my conclusion. If you're good at aiming, armor piercing. If you're not good at aiming, ascended clip. Armor piercing only gives you 20 rounds. The armor piercing offers you advantages, though. If you're good at headshots, one shot to the head, they're gone. One shot to the head, they're not coming anywhere. You know? So I would just make sure. Put the armor piercing on. It gives more damage. And it's a one shot kill to the head even with a heavy helmet. So that's what I'm going to recommend if you're a good shot. Because those 20 rounds, if you miss and stuff, if you're in gunfights and they're rolling and you can't hit them most of the time, I wouldn't even bother. Um, now, there's two, there's two different type of people though. There's people that have... Uh, playing styles where they're like going long range and short range. The armor piercing is definitely better for short range because it does more damage and one shot head. Now, if someone's rolling though and dodging bullets and you're missing, you know, because that's really how it is when you're rolling. It's consistent. Roll, shoot, roll, shoot, roll, shoot. Like, the, like if you're with a good player, they roll a lot. So, you're probably going to miss some rounds. If you plan for this gun to be your long range gun, extended clip all the way. Just for the fact that you have 60 rounds, it's still kills fast and you're you could buy ammo on the uh, interaction menu and on top of that you don't gotta worry about running out in the middle of a gunfight but shorter range you know and headshots and all that armor piercing rounds all the way combat mg armor piercing rounds why full metal jackie of the assault rifle for that and incendiary those suck tracer rounds those suck extended clip 200 rounds is nice but if you're missing 80 shots something's wrong with you so armor piercing all the way for that because at long range or anything you got 80 shots to fuck with and if you're not doing anything with 80 shots then 60 shots in a carbine rifle isn't going to get you too far as well for the sniper this is for the mark II sniper um obviously you're gonna want the thermal scope that is the best scope in the game at the moment now if your personal preference if you're not feeling the thermal then don't get it get the advance i personally like the advance more but everybody all my friends even and, lo and they're good at killing they like the thermal more it's all personal preference the thermal is supposed to be better and i think it is but yet it does come down to personal preference at the same time as far as magazines go explosive rounds all the way because every other round is two shot kill explosive is one shot you don't need the full metal jacket for cars because an explosive round sh kills a car in two shots that's it two shots a car's blown up like a zentorno or any of those type of cars i'm talking about also a jet two shots from an explosive round it's blown up jet problem control pull this bad boy out maybe your friends have it right there two shots the jet's fucking down that's it and then you're good on that so put the explosive rounds on that that's all you need and that's all for that that's all oh shit the last thing just roll just fucking roll that's it shoot roll shoot roll and that's the last tip to becoming a good killer. Shoot, roll, shoot, roll. Roll as fast as you can. And anyways, that's really it for this video. This be a boy, Young Flame, and I'm signing out. Deuces. Hope y'all enjoyed. Become a good, clean player in GTA, but still kill very good. 
This is only a few tips. Uh, I might be making a part two to this soon. But as for now, this is part one. Hope you enjoyed. Signing out.